Guests of Inside Golf enjoy dining at Sin Sin, the popular Asian fusion restaurant located on Germantown Avenue in the heart of scenic Chestnut Hill. And now it's time for Teed Off, brought to you by Yingling, America's oldest brewery. And welcome back to Inside Golf. Time for our Teed Off segment, and we are at McGurk's Pub and Grill in Fort Washington, right at the intersection of Route 73 and Bethlehem Pike, and we have an all-star panel again, ready to get teed off. From the Philadelphia Daily News, Mike Kern. From MyPhillyGolf.com, we have Joe Logan. And sitting to my right, right in the center of things, the proprietor of McGurk's Grill, John yeah. Dalloway. Hey, John, thanks for How having you doing? us. Uh, thanks for coming. Okay. You know, guys, one of the integral post-round traditions in the game of golf, the 19th hole. Now, sitting in a place like McGurk's, John, you're within a drive and uh, a wedge from maybe five or six of the great golf courses yeah. in Philadelphia, right? Yeah. yeah. This is an obvious 19th hole, I would imagine. Yeah, we get a lot uh, from the local golf courses around here. They come in. Philly Cricket Club is yeah. uh, maybe less than a three wood away. Yeah. Sandy Run, Manny's, yeah. White Marsh, you got them all. Less than a three wood? <laughs> I was say that. We got yeah, some big right. hitters. No. Okay. We got some big hitters there, John. <laughs> but let me ask you this, Joe. Where did that tradition, do you know, of the 19th hole start? As long as there has been, have been golfers and beer, it's, you know, they've made for each other. I, I'd say it goes back to the uh, uh, Greek athletes in Athens. Uh, they probably they play golf? Not <laughs> golf, but they uh, played a little sport and had a little. Uh, the Scots have been known to take the Scots. back. Well, originally, Mike, the way the golf course was laid out at St. Andrews, right, they came up with 18 holes because that's how many holes it took them to finish off a a bottle of scotch, right? A, a fifth of like the single malt? Whatever. Yeah. I, I mean, mean, that's, is that the Actually, tradition? when you're over there, too, I got to tell you, some of the, 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 I'm not a big drinker, but some of the best places I've ever sat after a round of golf were over in Scotland. Because they sort of, I, may, and maybe that has something to do with the, but they, they put it in places where you're overlooking views that are just like, you go, wow. Right. You know, and you're drinking single malt, which is never a bad thing, or some of that dark beer or, you know, whatever. Now, We're some, both. Somebody suggested to me the reason is there's a 19th hole is because nobody wants to go home. Yeah. I don't know if that's true or not, John. Huh? Well, you, you don't mind. You, that, you want the you? good time to continue with your buddies. You know, it's a day out. You got to rehash all those yeah. birdies and others. You want to go home? Is that is that what that's... we're talking about? <laughs> <laughs> right. It's well, not like the wife wants to listen to you. Right. Now, McGurk's is also actually got its start down in the Baltimore area. Right. right. You have yeah. what two or three places? We have down three there. places down there. Yeah. And uh, we would come back. Uh, I would come back on a Friday, uh, hit the hit the links uh, up here. Um, I, I was uh, I probably should have been home, but I was. Uh, they didn't know that. You got a pass, right? Yeah, there you go. Now, so. you get some Baltimore golfers coming into your places down there. Yeah, too? yeah, we do. Yeah. What's the one? Uh, Cave Valley. Cave Valley. Valley. Yeah, that's yeah. one of the more yeah, that's, famous courses down there. That's a nice. That's a nice. Uh, if, if you can get on there, that's a nice track. Well, I'm sure a person like yourself oh, sure. uh, has no oh, problem. Oh, yeah, doing no that. problem. No problem. <laughs> but, but talk about, you know, this whole tradition of, of 19. Sometimes, I mean, the 19th hole is the best hole, Joe. Would you agree? Well, it's certainly the most refreshing because uh, I need, frankly, I've swung at the ball so many times by the time I finish a round of golf. I need uh, an adult, adult beverage and a little time to, uh, to rest, to gather myself up to go home. I think a lot of it's not so much the drinking or I think it's the camaraderie. You sit around and you rehash your round. Yeah. Uh, that, that's what golfers do. You know, it's always that shot they left out on the 14th or the putt they made on the 10th to take two bucks out of your pocket or something. You know, and then you, you, you wash it down with a few and, and everybody has a good time. Maybe you go out and play another 18. Well, yeah, as long as you don't have too many washes. But And the other thing is you're sitting probably in close proximity to three or four other groups who you eat don't know, but by the time the 19th hole's over, you're best friends with some people, A lot right? of lies getting told. That's right. A lot of exaggeration. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, it's a great tradition. And do you have any famous 19th hole locations, Joe, that you can share with us? Besides McGurk's, of course. McGurk's, yeah. Uh, I actually live near here and come here. Uh, you know what? My favorites tend to be places that are not fancy and not famous, just sort of cozy, hole-in-the-wall golf courses where the guys would get together and sit down and, and uh, talk about their round, like Mike said. Uh, but, but fancy places, I've been to some places in Europe or, uh, where, Mike, like Mike said, you're overlooking the golf course. King's Barn, uh, outside, uh, Crail. Crail, outside. Is, Crail is where? Crail's right down the road from St. Andrews, and you, know, it's, you sort of sit and you're just overlooking the water in the 18th hole. 
and it's you know you're just sitting there going ah. That you know, it's, what's it's, the club right out right at the old course? That, that's like the the old men's club. That's that's right off the golf course. Right. And it looks oh, out the over the. Yes. Yeah, oh, I can't think of it now. Oh, the other bar you've been right there. Believe me, he's I, been there. This I, guy's been to I've, practically every 19th hole in the world. I mean, they take it serious over that's there. That's something, a, huh? The 19th hole is more important over there than the 18 that you <laughs> I played. Gotcha. Well, it doesn't get any better than McGurk's. We want to thank John thank Dalloway you. for thank his you. hospitality here at McGurk's Pub and Grill in Fort Washington. Next time you're looking for a good 19th hole up here, stop at McGurk's. Inside Golf continues in just a moment. Teed off has been taped on location at McGurk's on Bethlehem Pike in Fort Washington, PA. Come to McGurk's to check out all the excitement of March Madness. They feature great drink specials and live music on weekends. Check them out at McGurk'sPub.com. To the Duffers, the Hacks, we've been there. To the three and four putters, we learned. And to the Rough Riders and Sandman, we're ready to teach you. To everybody out there who thinks they can't play the game, the over 28,000 PGA golf professionals say we're here to help you discover or rediscover the joys of golf. To you and you and you, we're here. The Philadelphia Section PGA is here to teach you. Play golf, Delaware Valley. Colleen Wolf's wardrobe is provided by Adidas, the leader in men's and women's apparel for the athletic golfer. Next week, we stay in North Carolina to visit the newest addition at Ocean Ridge Plantation, Leopard's Chase. Director of Marketing Bill Long takes us to his favorite par three. This is the par three uh, second hole at Leopard's Chase. It's about 185 yards from the back tees where we're looking from, uh, which from here it's all carry over the water feature. And uh, it's front of, there's some bunkers on the left hand side that you have to be wary of, but that's a much better option than missing it right. As you can see, the uh, water comes into play all the way down the right hand side and behind the green. So it's a little peninsula that sticks out there in this pond. And it's a lot of, lot of par three for most people, but it's a very pretty scenic hole and people enjoy it. If you want to play it up a little farther, there's some other tee boxes that uh, take the water feature more out of play and maybe a little more enjoyable for some. But if you want to bite off all you can chew, you definitely would play from back here. But this is one of our most popular and scenic holes on Lefter's Chase. And Brian Thomas shows us this stunning par four at Crow Creek. Hey, well, we're here at hole number two at Crow Creek Golf Course, standing at the white tee box where most players like to play from because it's a little bit shorter in distance. Uh, this hole is uniquely designed. Uh, it's one of the most difficult holes on the golf course, but it's not hard at, too hard to not enjoy and have a good time with it. So. It's lined with waste bunkers on the right, and as you can see, we've got a lot of wildlife on this hole uh, with the pond that's directly in front of the tee box here. Bunkers, again, guard the left side and around the middle of the fairway and also up by the green. Both sides of the green are protected by bunkers, so shot making here is a very important thing to be able to do. Uh, you want to hit, be able to aim the ball uh, and put it you know, where you're aiming it here because a little offline here, you can get in a lot of trouble. That's going to do it from North Myrtle Beach in North Carolina. Beautiful River's Edge and Carolina National. How beautiful are these golf courses? They're so beautiful, Harry, that you can't even use words to describe them, which is, hey, that's why we're here, to show <laughs> you how beautiful they are. Yeah, and the pictures tell the whole story. You're going to be really amazed at just how picturesque. You're going to stop playing golf. You're going to bring a camera, and all you're going to do is take shots with your camera, <laughs> but not with your clubs. That's how beautiful it is at these two spots. Next week, we will continue back down south of Myrtle Beach, and we're going to be at Leopard's Chase and also Crow Creek, right along Route 17, both of them, right? That's right, and you can't miss these two courses because, again, two great, great courses right here in Myrtle Beach. And, you know, there's a party going on at the veranda. We're both invited, so we're out of here. <laughs> for Colleen Wolf, I'm Harry Donahue. Remember, no matter how bad it's going for you, and I don't know what's going to happen up there on the veranda, <laughs> don't pick up. We'll see you next time on Inside Golf. Inside Golf has been brought to you by Yingling, America's oldest brewery, and by Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Now fly nonstop on Spirit Airlines. Details at Philly to Myrtle. Dot com and the Philadelphia Section PGA, celebrating 90 years.